Good morning, everyone. Bienvenidos todos this blessed Friday morning. Uh, sharing. Sharing the spoken written word of our God out of the book of Isaiah. When I read this just this morning, I know it's early, and I literally, my spirit said this to Abba Father. I didn't know this was in scripture. I did not know this was in scripture. And I told Abba Father, you knew I had that question in my heart because I've had this, this question of why. And when I read this, I said, oh, Abba Father, you, you gave me the answer. Because of the question I had, I said, maybe I'm misunderstanding. I'm misunderstanding people. I love to share the word of God. The word of God. I don't edify no one other than my God through his son. And again, I've had a question in my heart of things I've heard, things I've seen. And I asked Abba, I had the question in my spirit. It's wrong, right? It's wrong. We're, we're to share your word, your word. We're, we're to edify you. So I closed my Bible this morning. Literally, I closed it and I asked Abba Father. I didn't ask the question verbally. I just had it in my spirit. But this morning I asked Abba, is there something you need me to share? And I mean share with all of you. So I closed it and it opened up to Isaiah chapter 50. So I read until he literally my my spirit stops and i and i read and i said abba i didn't know it was here i did not know it was here and yet it is the answer to my question because i didn't want to misunderstand what i was seeing and i mean throughout in general, through uh, certain platforms, uh, videos, uh, sometimes videos that are being shared, they, they send them to me too. So they're sharing. And there's some that I can't watch. I'll, I'll, I have to stop it. I, I can't. Because all I see is people edifying themselves. And I'm being honest. I'm being humble. So I, I won't comment because... I say, well, why am I feeling this way? It's not right. So I, I don't watch. I won't comment back. And again, here it is in the spoken written word of my God. And he gave me the answer. And I said, thank you, Abba. So my spirit can rest and, and, and understand Abba Father's way through Lord Jesus because when I read these verses, I knew who, who was speaking and who he was speaking of. So I said, I have to share. And again, when we are, whether in platforms like this, in video or commenting uh, on comments, if you're, if it's the way you're sharing or, or speaking, it's to edify our God through His Word. It's not to edify oneself or oneself's opinion, and I share this often. It's not 
our, our opinion. It is the word of God that we send advices to people. Not our opinions, brothers and sisters. And again, it again it was a question, and wow, I again, wow, my Abba's great. Our great King God is amazing. He's our Father through His Son. So uh, let me give all glory to you, Lord Father, and I thank you in the name of your Son Jesus. Again, like I stated, I'm being honest. In the presence of my brothers and sisters, I didn't know this was in scripture. If I've read it before, I didn't understand it till you brought it to light. I guess because my spirit had the question. <laughs> it was questioning if I was wrong and thinking what I was seeing. But you brought it to light, Abba Father, and I thank you. I thank you with all my heart, soul, and might that your word has it all. To every question that we have, and I give you all glory through the name you gave your son, Yahshua, Jesus, our Lord. And I'm going to share. Maybe some of you have had this question also, so here it is. It's out of the book of Isaiah, chapter 50. And hear who Abba Father speaks of. Hear these words of who's speaking these words. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the Lord that I should know how to speak. A word in season to him who is weary. We share the word in season to people that need to hear the word. This is amazing that it's in the word of our God. Again, the Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned, his word, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. A spoken written word because Abba Father wakes us up every morning. Hear, hear, brothers and sisters. But there's someone speaking here, and we should already know whose voice is speaking these words. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. Nor did I turn away. I gave back to those who struck me. Forgive me. This is where you'll, you'll know who's speaking. I gave my back to those who struck me. And my cheeks to those who plucked out the beard. I did not hide my face from shame and spitting. I give you all glory in the name of your son, Jesus, Lord, Father, for it pains me. But I thank you for the answer to the question I had in my spirit. Again, I'm going to read it again. This is Isaiah chapter 50, verse 4, 5, and 6 that I just read. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. The Lord God, and he's giving the credit to Abba, Father God. It is Abba, Father God, who gives us the tongue of the learned, the words to speak in season to those who are weary. It's through the word, brothers and sisters. It's not to edify ourselves. Here is the voice of the true shepherd. 
for the true flock. It's those who understand that we edify our God. Lord Jesus speaks here through these passages through Isaiah. The Lord God has opened my ear. No one else but Abba Father. And I was not rebellious, nor did I turn away. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who plucked out the beard. I did not hide my face from shame and spitting. Why? Why did he not turn? He turned his back to those. I just saw a video this morning of a of, of video that I guess is being shown out there of a lady videotaping another lady that was having a breakdown. That lady was making fun of her. And I, I didn't understand why, but it was two different races. I don't know if y'all have seen it, but right here, right here, this is where we learn. We don't act or behave that way. This is how we learn. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who plucked out the beard. I did not hide my face from shame and spitting. He stood strong for the Lord God, Abba, Father God, will help me. This is why he stood strong. This is why he turned, he gave them his back. He stood strong because he knew for the Lord God will help me. Therefore, I will not be disgraced. Amen and hallelujah. Hallelujah to our Abba Father God that his word through his son, through Isaiah, his servant spoke. For the Lord God will help me. He, Abba Father will help us. We edify our God through his son, through the voice of the learned, through the word of our God. To speak the word in season when people are weary, brothers and sisters. For the Lord God will help me, therefore I will not be disgraced. Amen. Therefore I have set my face like a flint. Meaning he stood strong. He didn't turn. Flint is a rock. As per scripture, it is a rock that's very strong. It's hard to break. So Lord Jesus speaks here that because he knows who helps him, his Abba, Father, he didn't react. He didn't respond. He gave glory to his Father and he stood strong like that flint, the strength of that rock, because he knew. He knew that his Abba, Father, God was helping him. And that he would not be disgraced. Amen. Amen. Because many people have tried to do that to me because I share the word. This is why I told Abba Father. I didn't know it was in scripture. But thank you. I thank my God. Because healing comes to my spirit. Because those that have pride and arrogance and selfishness and bitterness that attack people or that are very prideful in, in, in thinking that their way is the right way. When Abba Father states it here clearly, he'll state it at the end of the scripture. And I know that I will not be ashamed. Amen. He is near who justifies me. Abba Father is near, that he is the one that will justify us, is why we stand firm, brothers and sisters. It is why we stand firm in the word. He is near who, he, he is near who justifies me, who will contend with me. 
Let us stand together. Who is my enemy? Let him come near to me. This is strength that we stand up against our enemies that attack. That we stand strong. Do not fight back or speak ill or speak back or give an, a blow. We just stand firm. It's okay. I know who protects me. I know who is going to come to my defense. I will not be disgraced and I will not be ashamed because I trust. I trust in my God through his son. For it is he who gives us the tongue of the learned. It is his word. It is the sword. It is the strength of our God. So right here, these words, he, Lord God, is near who justifies us. Who will contend with me? It is a question. Let us stand together. Here he gives us. Let us stand together. Who is my enemy? Let us stand together in the word, brothers and sisters, not in edifying ourselves or, or our opinion. It is let's stand together to, with the one who justifies us, who defends us, who gives us the word of learning through his word, who gives us the word to speak in due season to the weary. What amazing word of our God. Surely the Lord God will help me. He will help us. Yes, surely the Lord God will help us. Who is he who will condemn me? No one. We stand with our God through his son. Indeed, they will all grow old like a garment. The moth will eat them up. This is to the enemy, to the ones that contend against the word of our God. Heed the word, brothers and sisters. Surely the Lord God will help us. Who is he who will condemn us? Indeed, they will all grow old like a garment. The moth will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord? Who obeys the voice of his servant? Heed the word, brothers and sisters. Who walks in darkness and has no light? Heed the word. Again, this is verse 10 out of Isaiah 50. And forgive me that my glass, I cannot see because my glass, my glasses are getting fogged up. Who among you fears the Lord? Who obeys the voice of his servant? There is Abba, Father, who sent his servant, his son, Lord Jesus. We heed what Lord Jesus states. The word is the sword. We stand firm no matter what gets thrown at us. Who walks in darkness? And has no light. That's a question we ask. Who walks in darkness. And has no light. Let him trust in the name of the Lord. And rely upon his God. Heed the word. This is scripture brothers and sisters. Let him trust in the name of the Lord. I just shared a video of. Uh, a video down stating that the name of God is the name he gave his son, Yahshua. Scripture, let him trust in the name of the Lord. Here's, here's one, one where the name of the Lord was given to Lord Jesus. Let him trust in the name of the Lord and rely upon his God. We rely on Abba Father through his son, through the name of our God that he gave his son. 
This is the key, brothers and sisters, to my answer of the question I've had. Look, all you who kindle a fire, who encircle yourselves with sparks, heed the word, brothers and sisters. Walk in the light of your fire and in the sparks you have kindled. That's edifying oneself, not in the light of our God. He's stating us here, who among you fears the Lord? Who obeys the voice of his servant? Who walks in darkness and has no light? He, he's giving us these questions. Write these questions down and answer them. Let him trust in the name of the Lord and rely upon his God. Right there is key. The light and we rely only and trust only the name of the Lord and rely upon his God. Amen. So here's the answer to Again, I'm going, I know I, I just repeated myself, but heed the word, brothers and sisters. The light that needs to shine from us is our God through his son. But here is Abba Father through his word stating this about them. Look, all you who kindle a fire, who encircle yourselves with sparks, not the word. We don't encircle. There's certain people that will not. They will spark their own fire. They will encircle themselves with sparks. Walk in the light of your fire in the sparks you have kindled. This you shall have from my hand. This is Abba Father speaking, brothers and sisters, to those that kindle their own fire encircle themselves with sparks they walk in the light they have done for themselves this you shall have from my hand abba father states you shall lie down in torment brothers and sisters heed the word the light that needs to shine the light we edify is the word of our god we don't kindle our own fire. This is the word of God. This is Isaiah 50 verse 11. Brothers and sisters, again, my spirit had the question. I didn't flip. Forgive me. I didn't flip the word of God. I closed it. I asked Abba, Father, what do you need to say today? I opened it up and this is where it opened up. And it opened up for me. Because of the question that I that I had in my spirit. And the answer is there. Verse 11. Look, all you who kindle a fire. Who encircle yourselves with sparks. Walk in the light of your fire. And in the sparks you have kindled. This you shall have from my hand. Abba Father states. You shall lie down in torment. We trust in the Lord our God. Let him trust in the name of the Lord and rely upon his God. Lord Jesus teaches us, brothers and sisters, Lord Jesus, to rely on our God. How? I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who plucked out the beard. I did not hide my face from the shame and spitting for the Lord. God will help me. Therefore, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint. And I know that I will not be ashamed. 
Why? Because he, he who justifies me is near me. Who will contend, contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is our enemy? Let him come near me. We serve a great God, brothers and sisters. We serve an amazing God through his son. Lord Jesus is the one that speaks here. This is Isaiah prophesying our Messiah, Jesus, Yeshua, to learn from him. For he stays, the Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned. He gave him his word that I should know how to speak a word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. Oh, glory to you, Lord, Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. Blessings.